He said, why would he be very tight? He said, because he had placed his trust upon other than the one he is to be putting his trust in, meaning Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala. He said, he had put his trust, he had placed his trust, his trust, ala da'ifin mithluhu. He relied upon a weak one like him, just like him. He is putting his trust upon a very weak one just like him. Just like him, wal'iyadhu billah. Aw man huwa ad'afu minhu. Or someone that is even way weaker than him. Okay, this individual that you go seek these things right here, he is weaker than you. You know why? Because he rely upon your money so he can go feed his family. None of your beeswax. This individual waiting for you to drop the dime so he can go grocery store. So he is weaker than you. Because you coming up, alhamdulillah, with some, at least some money in your pocket. But him, if you don't give him, he will not going to eat. Or he gonna, he's not going to have the ability to put gas in his car. Or to feed his family. Or to pay his light bills and the likes of this. So either he will go to a da'if one like him, or he will go to the ad'afu minhu, someone that is way weaker than him, wal'iyadu billah. He say, wala shakka, anna al-hayyi laysa kal mayyit. He say, without a doubt, the one that is alive is not like the deceased one. <coughs> it is no doubt about that. That the one that is alive is not like the one that is dead. The one that is alive, he is not like the one that is dead. And here the Shah is saying this meaning what? He says, فَالْحَيِّ The one that is alive, يَسْتَطِيعَ أَنْ يَمْشِي وَيَأْكُلْ وَيَشْرَبْ He says, the person that is alive, he has the ability to, to, to walk. He has the ability to eat. He has the ability to drink. He has also the ability to go for his needs. He got the ability to go for his needs. He got the ability to work, to put forth action. The one that is alive, he can do so. Amma al mayit, as the one that is dead. Now, why the Shah is saying this is what? Because those who go to the graves and they put their trust upon the deceased one. Okay, the one that is alive, he can do these things. He can go struggle, you know, get, his, get, get paid. He can go find a job, do this. He can go eat. He can walk. He can drink. He can, you know, go about his business. But, Amma barakallah fikum the mayyit. Faqad intaha amaluhu. That he doesn't have no ability to be putting forth no actions. All of his actions is stopped. Came to a full stop after he died. Can he, can he get up and then go, Barakallah Fikum, go pay his light bill? Can he just get up and go, oh, I'm hungry. I'm just going to get up from the grave and go get me a cheeseburger and come right back. No, this is, this is done. This is, this is done, Barakallah Fik. Now, if this individual that will humble themselves, Akhi, in a way that they will not humble themselves in the salah. They will humiliate themselves in a way in the in front of the in the grave of the sheikh in a way that they will not even concentrate in the salah. They will not even budge in front of the grave of the sheikh. But you find them yaltafituna yaltafituna yamina wa shimalan. They will be turning left and right in the salah. For anybody that move around, they look. No have no khushu whatsoever. But if they are in front of the grave of the sheikh, akhi, they like. They themselves like dead individuals. Won't even move when Ayyadu Billah. Shasal al Fadal Hafidahullah to conclude one minute. He mentioned. He says, So therefore, Fakaifa, Ida ma tu ja'alahum aliha min dunillah, wahum amwat. Then how is it possible that these deceased one, this individual after they die, they can't do nothing no more? Then how is it possible that they are putting them rivals to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they are dead. They are deceased. They are dead. It's done for them. They ain't coming back to this life. 
He mentioned, لا يملكون شيئا لأنفسهم Allahu Akbar There is nothing that they can do for themselves There is nothing they can do for themselves Right? There is nothing that they can do for themselves As Allah say in Surah Al-Fatir Ish Al-Aya He mentioned No, mention he وَلَوْ سَمِعُوا مَا اسْتَجَابُوا لَكُمْ وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ يَكْفُرُونَ بِشِرْكِكُمْ Surah Al-Fatir The very, in the, in the, in the, in the, he mentioned, ah, he say, نعم, إن تدعوهم أحسن الله إلي إبن يوفا إن تدعوهم, إن تدعوهم لا يسمعوا دعاكم وَلَوْ سَمِعُوا مَا اسْتَجَابُوا لَكُمْ وَلَوْ سَمِعُوا If they would have hear you, مَا اسْتَجَابُوا They will not be able to what? To answer you. If they would have hear you, وَإِن تَدُعُوهُمْ If you call them, supplicate to them, they won't be hearing you. If they, if they would have hear you, مَا اسْتَجَابُوا They will not be able to answer. وَيَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ يَكْفُرُونَ بِشِرْكِكُمْ Allah al-Musta'an In this verse, it is, it, is, it is tremendous that you call a person that cannot answer you. You call him, Ya Fulan, Ya Allah, or so and so. He doesn't have the ability to hear you. Even if he was to hear you, he will not be able to fulfill your request. Even if he would have hear you, he will not be able to fulfill your request. He will not be able to fulfill your request. And I wish that this individual would be a little smart enough to call on Ahmad Bamba when he is in his grave. And to hear Labbaik or Na'am from him. Or they call Ahmed Tijan in his grave. Or Ahmed Tijan. And waiting for him to say Na'am or Yes. Or whatever language he was speaking. Waiting to hear that. They will wait for a million years. The individual will not, barakallah, if he can make no noise on his grave that they can hear. I mean, if a person can hear, right? At least he should acknowledge to you that he heard what you say. Right? Before even fulfilling the, the request. Right? And you can do in many ways. You don't got to say yes. <clears throat> right? You can say, <clears throat> you can say yes. Or knock at the thing. It's like when a person is in the hammam and somebody knock, he doesn't say nothing. He just what? Do what? Knock back. Just knock back, buddy. We'll see if you still got it. So they will never, barakallah fikum, acknowledge that. And this is the situation that, barakallah fikum, many of the Muslims today, this is their belief system. Believing that someone in the grave can change the course of their life. Somebody in the grave can make them pass the exam. Somebody in the grave can give them a good wife. Somebody in the grave can give them righteous children. Somebody in the grave can make their businesses prosper. This is Barakallah Fikum. Many of us born and raised in the Muslim countries. This is something that Barakallah Fikum that you find majority of people believing in this. So whose responsibility is it? It's our responsibility to start from our own family members first and foremost. Clarifying these matters to them, alhamdulillah. We suffice ourselves, inshallah, ta'ala, in this until next week, bi idnillahi tabaraka wa ta'ala. We'll be concluding, inshallah, ta'ala, the, the, the statement of Shah Salih for that in regard to the fifth, uh, the, the fifth shubuhat. And then, inshallah, there are a series of questions and answers that are very beneficial. Inshallah, ta'ala, we'll be reading those questions and those answers. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give a long life to Shaykh Saleh Fawzan and all the scholars of the sunnah and give, make their feet firm and uh, give them all a good end and give it to us too. Alhamdulillah. Ameen.
If there was any mistake that I have done, please rectify me. May Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala rectify. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Hayakum Allah. What would they say that? Say to him, oh, I mean, they will say that you know, the, the, they they will they will discredit you. They ain't gonna say nothing in response. They will discredit you. Nay, they will discredit you. Oh, so you don't know nothing. You know this and the third. They will not have nothing to say, because there is listen. There is no proof for Batil. There is no proof for Batil. Falsehood doesn't have no proofs. Falsehood doesn't have no proofs whatsoever. What else do you think they would have? May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us all to see his face yawm al qiyamati Amen.